let's solve this uh, trig equation. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite the equation in terms of sine so that I have only one variable in my equation. So I turn this into 1 minus sine squared x. Now I'm going to distribute the 3 in. And now notice that it looks like a quadratic, it is a quadratic equation, but really there's not a, these are both like terms. So I'm just going to isolate the variable. So, so I'm going to add 3 sine squared x to both sides. And so when I do that, I get 4 sine squared x equals 3. All right, so now I can divide both sides by 4. So I get sine squared x equals 3 fourths, which is nice because now I'm going to take the square root of both sides to get rid of that squared. And don't forget the plus or minus square root. So sine of x equals the plus or minus the square root of 3 all over 2, which is on our unit circle. And so we can look at our unit circle. So where is the sine plus or minus root 3 over 2? Remember, sine is the y coordinate. So there, there, all of the 60 degree reference angles. There and there. So those are all my answers right there. If they want them in radians, then you write those numbers. If they want them in degrees, you write the degree numbers. But those are your answers. Pi over 3, 2 pi over 3, 4 pi over 3, 5 pi over 3. So x equals pi over 3, 2 pi over 3, or the other ones, 4 pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3.